Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to One Military Camp. And we pick up where we left off last time with a little bit of a cliffhanger. Although really, it wasn't a proper cliffhanger, was it? It was a bit of a rubbish cliffhanger, because normally cliffhangers are associated with great big exciting high stakes moments, and this was definitely not one of those. We're just going on a mission, we're just going out on another mission, we've done lots of missions before, and if we look down at the forces comparison, it is likely that we're going to succeed the mission as well, so there wasn't really that much risk. It wasn't really a proper cliffhanger, I would say. It wasn't very cliffhangery. It was more a sort of a small ledge hanger, maybe. But whatever the case, I kind of feel like I've wandered off topic and need to bring it back. We're about to take on the turning off the tap mission. We set this up at the end of the previous part. We've assigned our people. Let's just remind ourselves what this mission's all about. Hope Plans is home to the main valve for Berkers Aqueduct. The valve regulates all water in the desert, so it is important that we get hold of it. If we can, he will not be able to steal more water, and the remaining communities will have their water back, which sounds very good. It is vital that we retake this location, but we have to be careful. Charlie and his sand troopers have attacked the valve multiple times, so security is very high. Take all necessary precautions, and send only the best. I mean, in terms of battle rank, it's 560 for us, versus 305 of them. So we should be okay. I don't know if we're sending the best, but we're sending some very good people. So do you know what? Let's get that done. Kick that off right now. Let's get that sorted. Get time ticking on. Shall we? Where's the helicopter? Out it comes. Auto save kicks in just to slow things down a bit. Right, so we can go over here. Now we do have a few problems going on, mostly revolving around cash. At the moment, we are 3,000 monies down and we can't buy food for one of our warehouses. However, I think the other one does have food, doesn't it? Hang on, let's go and have a quick food check. So that is food just there. So we've got 180 food in there. That's not so bad. Medicine is going to be good for a long time. I think ammo, we do go through ammo quite quickly, but that does seem to be quite a lot. So we should have a lot of ammo for a long time. And then fuel, we're going through that a bit less these days because of the lovely green power solutions. So that should last quite a long time as well. So really, it's food and ammo we're going through, I think now, but that one is currently empty. So we could do with that mission succeeding because then we'll get paid a lovely amount of money and then we might have to very quickly jump onto the next one as well because we are a bit short on the cash. So hang on, move time on nice and quick. We have deployed to Hope Plans. This place is a barren wasteland, but it's crawling with enemies. Our desert soldiers have found a safe path to the main valve. Good job, desert soldiers. We spotted the main valve. It is one kilometer north of our position. We'll head there with caution. We have noticed movement among Berker's troops. We don't quite know what's going on, but we'll find out. Okay, that's a little bit strange. Okay, hopefully that's going to be okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Confidential communication. We need to make a choice. For some reason, Berker's troops have abandoned their posts. They only left one soldier with a radio. Something must be going on. This is our chance to get the main valve. What should we do? Okay, so we can't do the one at the bottom there. That's a bit of a shame because nobody has Hawkeye. That would have been quite good, but never mind. Launch a frontal attack, but be careful. He might have enough time to radio his comrades to warn them. Let's send an ass by disguise as an enemy soldier. We might be able to convince him to abandon his post. Oh, let's do that. That sounds more fun. That sounds like a more sort of a more sneaky, safe approach than just sort of running in going rah and charging at him. Because then he might use his radio and say, goodness, I need some help. There are people going rah and they're charging at me. And then people will come along and help out. So maybe we go for a little bit of a little bit of espionage, a little bit of sort of spying. That could be quite good. So go in as an enemy soldier, please. Oh, crikeys. Right, hang on a minute. Are we firing at the drone? Yes, we are. That one just missed. Good job. Okay, the drone is quite heavily damaged. Are you going to go away? Hopefully you are. Away with you, drone, into the desert. Okay, good. That's gone away. Right, run time on nice and quick. We need to get this mission done. We need some cash. We need some more food, please. Right, did it work? And was our decision the right one? We will find out. And it did work. We did it. The main valve is under our control. Berker will no longer be able to steal water from the people of the desert. Accept that. And what happened there? The mission continued normally. Okay, it seems like that was the right choice to make. That is very wonderful. So we didn't get the quick response bonus, which is a bit of a shame, but we are going to get 8,000 precious monies. So we're not in the red anymore. Oh, hello, Sergeant Shouty Pants. Good job. We have taken control of Dragan's Aqueduct. Okay, look, that region is now under our control. 
So we've moved into the final one over here. It looks like there are three separate missions now. And then of course we have the big final showdown with Burke and Demir himself as well. Okay, so we've now got control of Dragan's aqueduct. Look, there's the kind of the valve thing that we went and got. He'll no longer be able to steal water from the people of the desert. We only need to get Burke and dot 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 and get that territory back, Sergeant. It's Charlie Creek, my goodness me, there he is. <gasps> Charlie, I can't believe this, it's you. Oh, he looks all emotional. The one and only, how are you, John? Oh, he's called John, okay, I forgot that. We've been searching for you for so long. Where have you been? He's been in the desert, he's been in the desert. We know he's been in the desert. We've had a lot of stories about you and the sand troopers. You've done a great job. Dragon's invasion took us all by surprise, says the amazingly heroic looking Charlie Creek. He captured Diana and we lost our chain of command. So I took some of our people and we deployed here in the desert. We tried everything to stop Dragon's forces from advancing to the southwest, but it was an impossible task. There are too many of them. Since then, we have focused on sabotaging their operations and hiding in the mountains. We can't do much else. You did good, Charlie. You did do well, Charlie. The invasion surprised everyone, but thanks to you and your people, one small camp remained unnoticed. Indeed, that's where we live now. One military camp survived, thanks to all of you. And now we are turning the tables. Or well, the yeah, one military camp, we've now got two of them, which is a bit weird. We've got two one military camps, which is a bit strange, but okay, we'll gloss over that. Glad to hear that, Sergeant. It was worth the effort. You can say that again. Now let's go and take care of that brigand Burka Demir. It won't be easy, Sergeant. I've been dealing with Burka for a while. He's a tough nut to crack. He is on 23% strength or whatever, so we're okay. We're wearing him down. Lowlands is well defended. He built a wall to stop the flow of refugees. Oh, that's what the big wall is there. That's what the big wall is. A wall to stop the flow of refugees. It sounds familiar. There's no way to get through. But there is a weak spot. My people discovered that the wall's foundation is vulnerable on the south side. If we can infiltrate a small group of explosives engineers, we might be able to destroy it. Do that, and in the confusion, I think my troops will be able to get in and bring Burka down. It's a good plan. I can see you really thought it over. Every day we've been in the desert. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Very well, Charlie. We'll do it your way. He does have some experience from on the ground, so that does make sense. We'll put an end to Burka's evil reign and restore peace for the people of the desert. Now you're talking, says Charlie Krieg. See you in Lowlands. We will be ready. Let's get to work, says Shouty Pants. This is a great chance to defeat Burka. We cannot fail. Okay. What are the new missions? And already we've got food coming in, look. We've bought food in. People desperate for food, give us the food. Is it still coming from down there? Are they the cheapest? Starchy Troopers, two and two, four, three. Hang on, because there is one there. That's three and two, four, four. No, okay, yep, Starchy Troopers, still the most affordable. Right, so back down to two grand now, which is a bit of a shame. And we are stocked up on food, which is quite good. So hopefully, we won't need to buy in quite as many resources in the next sort of, what, next couple of days. Hopefully we've got enough to last us a good while. That would be quite useful. Okay, so pause time for a second. Let's see what we can do. We've got Soup Kitchen, we've got Dead Man's Gorge, and we've got Burka's Corner. Okay, Soup Kitchen. That is 8,400 money for giving people two cooks by the look of it. Okay, hang on a second, hang on. Click on that very quickly. Average performance required is 45. Okay, so what do our current cooks like? 71, 64, 62, 62. I think maybe, could we hire a couple of new people in? Can we just get some new people in? Namaste, officer. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Priya Sharma, and I'm the mayor of Polveron. That's an exciting name. Polveron, I think that, does that make an own? That acts on the O. Polverone, I think that's how it works. For some time, our city has been welcoming refugees from all corners of the desert who hope that things will be better for them here. Unfortunately, we are not doing very well ourselves, but we just can't turn all these people away. Absolutely right. Well done. We've opened a soup kitchen to provide nutritious cabbage for all the new arrivals. Mmm, cabbage grown in a desert. Delicious. But we are short on staff. Please, could you send us a couple of your best cooks? Our people would appreciate it. Okay, so two cooks. If we can do that, it gives us 8,400 money. That's a lot of money for us right now. That's a load of cash. Can anybody cook? Is there anybody good at doing cooking? Um, no, although, hang on. 
you would make a good maintenance worker. That could be useful. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. What is the cooking skill? Blue, so speed. Who is quick? Who down here is quite fast? So 14, not you. In fact, you know what? You can go because you only have a negative trait. Uh, 20, 12, 30. You've got speed of 30. You might be quite good. Michaela Sosa. Do you know what? We'll get you in. And, oh, do you know what? We're just going to send you away really quickly. So we'll maybe build you houses if you need some. But right now, can we just get you in? Can we go boop you work in the mess hall and then somebody else who's quick? So, okay, 26. You're very quick as well. Oh, you're quick. We wouldn't mind hiring you to do some maintenance stuff. 29. Leadership increases the mission's probability of success by 5%. Okay, maybe we want you actually as a soldier. That might make sense. Um, okay, you can be a soldier as well. 26. Okay, you've got amazing hair. Do you know what? You can become a cook as well. Okay, so do that, please. Can we send those two immediately out? Um, I don't think we can just yet. Now, why would that be the case? Also, hang on. Burka's cornered. Can we do that? Tank, aviator, hacker, and desert soldier. I think we've got... Oh, both the desert soldiers are resting. I think we've got the hackers available. We've got an aviator. And we have a tank driver. It's just the desert soldiers. Okay. I mean, hang on, hang on. Where are the desert soldiers? They are just there. So you've just been out, I think. So you just went out on a mission. Have you been out on a mission? You've both been out. Did you both go on that mission just then? I thought you only one of you went out, but okay, whatever the case, there you go. So they've got to have a little sit down. Dead Man's Gorge. We need a comms operative. We can get them pretty quickly. And then we need, what's that there? Was it a commando? No, a sniper. We need another sniper. We've got to have two of those. Crikeys. Okay, well, that could be quite difficult to do as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is right now, Let's run time on a little bit, shall we? And let's see if these two people, where are they? So they're now in their fancy sort of chef's whites. Can we please now assign them to this? So 11% and 10%. That's not very good in terms of required average performance, is it? That is a little bit naff. Um, could we send them to go and do some speed training? Because if they're quicker, that's the primary trait for a chef, isn't it? So, okay, don't go there. Go and do some speed training, please. Which seems like an odd kind of request, but it's fine. And also, you can both work on the... Yeah, you're both working on the night shift? Yes, okay, so you're both going to spring into life soon. That's going to be fine. Right, let's watch you two. Just make sure you actually go and do that. And we'll make sure that we ping into the night shift. Oh, crikey. I think we've got more drones. Hang on, fire the drones, destroy the drones. No, we can't reach the drone. Oh, there we go. There we go. We did get the drone in the end. Wonderful. Right, repair that, please. Hang on a second. Let's go and get that maintenance person because they were quite good at their job. You. You can come in as a maintenance person in... No, you can't because there's no room for any more maintenance people. Away with you. <laughs> we don't want you in here doing your maintenance. Boo. Um, who did we want as a, um, a soldier? You. You've got leadership, and that's quite good. So you can come in as a regular soldier. You can do some strength training into the barracks with you. Right. That's good. So now... Oh, I see. Yeah, we need... Hang on. Do we just need one of those? Is it just one desert soldier? No, it's one desert soldier. Oh, yeah, it's two out of... what? Yeah, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood the numbers, as often happens. So we need to get a comms operative, and then another sniper. Right. So who would make a good sniper? So we have one sniper right now. So hang on, set your goal. So it's got to be aviator, spy, or a tank driver, or anybody else who's got good, what is that? Speed, strength, accuracy. Okay, who do we have in the recruits that's got speed, strength, and accuracy? Um, you. Michaela Ortiz. Speed. No, you haven't got strength. Oh, no, it's intelligence botherations. Um, hang on a minute. None of them. Oh, I thought it was going to be you, but no, you've not got strength. You've got the intelligence. Okay, maybe you. Greta Ramirez, if we get you trained up quickly. So you go to here. 
You're on accuracy training anyway, so if we tell you to become a sniper, please, you need 65. So you should be able to get to that. Night shift is coming round, which is good, so you will be on duty. So hopefully we can go and do that one at least. We might not be able to get no, no, that one there. That one we're going to have to wait for a while for the desert soldiers to kind of rest up a bit. But that's okay. If we could get that one done, that'd be good. And that one is just a free money, really. So we'll get that one done at some point soon. And yes, if we do put our two new cooks into this mission here, we can see they have an average performance of 10, but they do need an average performance of 45. So they're quite a way off. They're quite a way off. So let's see if we pop back to the base. We need to get to night shift. I think, are we on the night shift now? So we should see, there we go. There's one of our cooks running around a bit. So their speed is gonna go up, which might be quite good for there. So their performance is going to go up. So, ah, okay. That is equating directly into their performance here. And you're also there as well doing some sprinting around. So rather than having them doing some actual cooking, we've just got them running around. <laughs> because that makes them a better chef or whatever. I don't know. They can cook quickly. Um, there's a drone, by the way, everybody. I've kind of just sort of uh, ignored them now. They're just more of a nuisance than anything else. Right, so yeah, you lot just get that sorted. I think already they've upped their speed considerably. So they're on 19% now, look. They're on 19%. Although, actually, hang on. Is that going up any more now? 21, their speed is going up. Yeah. It's not going to get up. I think even if they get their speed up to 100, I think they do need some actual kitchen experience. I think it's more the experience provides more of the sort of overall rating there by the look of it. So possibly they do need to go and do some cooking. That might help out. But yeah, I mean, got their speed's gone up loads. Don't they? Oh, crikey. Okay, yeah, just repaired the building. Somebody's injured. Okay, no. Uh, right, so let's now tell you to go into... Oh, hang on a minute. Has one of our mess halls been explodified? Um, that one there is just... It's just in a bad way. It's just in a very bad way, I think. Oh, no, hang on. Alfredo Benitez is injured. Okay, hang on. You two. You two can go and save the day. So where are the two cooks? You can go into that mess hall. And you can also go into that mess hall quickly get cooking there are people that need you to make lots of food and then your experience can go up and it shall be glorious also we're down 1200 money somehow what have we been buying i looked and thought we'd never need to buy anything again where did all the money go <laughs> okay oh no of course wages and such well, that must come out at the end of the day i don't know what we spent money on but okay we spent some money on some stuff right if you two could get in here there's been a load of food shipped in so now hopefully their experience can go up and we should be able to get that sorted. Okay, that's good. Right, Greta Ramirez is ready to specialise. Um, apparently we have to build sniper specialisation first. No, Greta Ramirez. Okay, okay. We need to wait for midnight to roll round. We get paid and then we spend all of our lovely money on sniper specialisation and then the money comes right back down again. Right, okay. Let's get given 11 grand. Come on, game. Come on, game. Please give us some money. Oh, okay, right. This is quite good news. We repaid the 16,800 money loan with hawkish investments and its debt has been cancelled. Okay, that's good. So now at the end of every day, we're going to get a little bit more money. That is quite welcome. Okay, so now we've got just under 10 grand. I think half of this is going to go on the sniper building, isn't it? Which is a bit of a nuisance, but there we go. Never mind. Right, where is the sniper building? There it is. Yeah. Four and a half grand on this. Botherations. Okay, never mind. Right, let's pop that there, because that fits quite well just there. So pop that in. There we go. And then we can click here. You can specialise. Absolutely. That is wonderful. Right, pause time for a second. Now we need a comms operative. And I think we can get pretty much anybody to do that. And then, oh, we've missed out on the bonus payment thing. But never mind. Never mind. We very rarely get those anyway. Um, oh. Oh, hang on, is that you two? Hang on a minute, have you maxed out intelligence in there? Yes, you have. That's Harold. Okay, Harold, go and do accuracy training, because that's all you have left. And Mila Miller is currently in accuracy. You've maxed out. Oh, you've maxed out at everything. Okay, don't do accuracy training, because that requires ammunition, and we have to buy ammunition. Go and do some... Oh, you've already maxed out aviating as well. Go and do some, I don't know, strength training. I've got no idea. Go and do something else, please. 
There we go. Let's have a quick check, actually. Is everybody still in the right training building? So what's this? Speed training? You, you don't need... To, oh, no, but you're one of those again. You're just sort of... You've got nothing else to do. You've nearly maxed out speed. You have maxed out speed. Okay, well done. Go and do some intelligence training. That would be very good. Over in the intelligence building, you're not max, you're not max, you're not max, you're not max. That's good. And strength. Yep, yeah, we just sent you over. Oh, Stephen Johnson, you have maxed out strength. That's good. So you can go and do some accuracy training. That will be very handy indeed. And then go back to over here. 93. 100. Jennifer King. Yep, yeah, you can go and do accuracy, please. That's going to be really helpful. Another private with almost 100 and everything. That's fantastic. And I think that's it. Okay, right. So we are getting some very highly skilled people now, which is really good. That is excellent news. Uh, so we need a comms operative. Who would like to become a comms operative? Any volunteers? Let's go and have a little look at the recruit, shall we? Oh, there they are. Um, I mean, anybody could do this right now. Anybody. You are heroic. We could send you on the mission. Have we got anybody? Nobody's got 100 right now, have they? Um, you're both training in accuracy. Do you know what? Let's just get Jennifer King on it, shall we? Medical knowledge. That might come in handy if you're out on a mission, possibly. But yeah, heroic. That's quite good. So it reduces the chance of squad mates not making it back for a mission by 15%. That's quite a lot. So, okay, Jennifer King, can we please set your goal? Would you like to be a comms operative? Let's specialise you in that. Okay, accept that. And, I mean... Your battle rank is pretty good, but you could do with some actual experience. A bit like our cooks, you could do with some experience. And the you know the timing has run out anyway on this, so it doesn't really matter now. So there's no rush on getting that done, apart from for the cash. How are we looking in here? You two, 25 and 27. Average performance, 26%. We will get there soon enough. That's some more money coming our way. Okay, move time on nice and quick. Let's get the comms operative trained up. Oh, Oh, hang on, hang on. Things are overloading again, 105%. When we get some more money in, when we get a bit more money in, we could possibly do with buying just another power generator, like a proper fixed actual one. Oh, and it's blown that building up. Repair the building, please. Yep, yep, yep. Somebody's injured. Probably someone we need to go and do some stuff, but there we go. Um, Yes. So hang on, enemy still inside the perimeter. Clear off drone phase. Go away. We need to upgrade the um the drones. And also, yes, a few people did say you um you got the upgrade for these security hub buildings, but you didn't actually upgrade the buildings last time. Yes, indeed, that is true. We didn't have enough money to do that. We had no money at all to do that. So uh yeah, we will do that at some point. We'll try and get round to that. I think the battery is being called into service. That is draining, which is useful. Um, however, there is some wind. There's a little bit of wind look, so it is helping out a bit. It's keeping the overload from overloading everything. That's really useful. So how are we looking now with you two? 30 and 32, they're getting there. They're getting there. Will they be there by the end of their shift? I'm not entirely convinced, you know. I do not know, but okay, we'll keep trying with that one. This one here, though, I think we should be okay. Comms operator is 49. A spy... Joe, you know let's take you. Let's take you. Slightly less, less sort of uh, battle rank there, but that's okay. So we'll have that. Uh, sniper will have you and you and Commando. These are exceptionally good. Let's take you because you've been on one less mission. So forces comparison 676 versus 369. Easy. This should be nice and straightforward. So begin that mission. That's going to be wonderful. Get out there. And oh, I didn't read what the mission was. <laughs> Dead Man's Gorge. We're going we're gonna to do some stuff in Dead Man's Gorge, everybody. Yay for Dead Man's Gorge. We'll read what the mission was when we've completed it, hopefully. So, yeah, that's going to tick over. We're, hang on, we've got so many science points. We just can't do anything with the research when we actually get it. But we could invest in quite a lot of things. I mean, is it worth getting there? Well, that's for higher level camps. That's for higher level camps. Okay, maybe then do we look at getting... We could get a slightly better battery... That would be quite good. I wouldn't mind that. I'd just like to sort of upgrade some things to a full status. That would be quite good. Like the mess hall's maxed out. It'd be quite good if we could max out other things. Housing, recruitment centre. Not so bothered about the recruitment. Oh, hang on. The um, the anti-drone things. Get those upgraded to their top level. Um, 
we've still got 14,700 points left. We could upgrade the infirmary and the physiotherapy clinic to be maxed out. That might be quite helpful. Physiotherapy clinic, that could come in useful if that was max. Uh, upgrade the infirmary. And still got 7,700 points left. Is it worth unlocking psychological therapy? Because at some point we're going to have to do that. So we'll grab that. And we've still got quite a lot left. Do we max out the security hub? Do we max out some of the storages, possibly? Um, or do we max... Not max out. Oh, yeah, we would max out the wind turbines and the solar panels. They might be useful, you know. That could be handy. Do you know what? We'll upgrade the power supplies. Given that we are having power issues, it might be quite useful. So now we're going to see a lot of upgrade arrows appearing everywhere. We just haven't got the money left to actually do the upgrades, which is a bit of a nuisance. Dead Man's Gorge. We have reached the canyon high grounds, which our communications expert has used to our benefit, providing us with detailed information on the enemy's position. We have found an alternative route that will take us right into the enemy's rear. We will catch them off guard. Okay, it sounds good. Crikey, they're coming in thick and fast. It seems that all the enemy soldiers were so distracted looking at their smartphones that we were able to outflank them. Social media can be dangerously addictive indeed. Okay, <laughs> so they've just been staring at their phones. Okay, time to make a choice about what we do. Officer, we have noticed that there is a rock about to fall at the end of the canyon. It could break off at any moment and leave us trapped or worse. It occurs to us that we could cause a controlled rock fall and create a distraction in our favour. It's risky, but we can't continue with the terrain in this condition. What is your assessment of the situation? Okay, so bring that rock down. The mission is crucial and retreat is not an option or get out of there. Uh, I mean, no, we have to carry on. We can't just come back. We just have to go back out again. The rock's still going to be there. Uh, no, bring it down. Absolutely. Bring it down. Let's see what we can do. Is that going to work? I imagine possibly it might be okay. Although there aren't any explosives experts, are there? So we might possibly struggle with that. Hang on. Let's check this one over here. How are we looking? Uh, oh, they've, they've kind of bailed on the thing. Okay, hang on. Go back in there, please. 33. Okay, so it's going to be another shift until we can get the soup kitchen mission done. However, that one is looking like it might be complete. Has it worked? Please work. Yay, at last. We've succeeded and Burka's forces have been reduced. He better get ready. We're coming for him. Shall we read what the mission was about? That could be a good idea. Ha! Burka is on the retreat again. We're winning the game, but let's not get overconfident. He is a very crafty guy. He's concentrating the bulk of his forces in the canyons of lowlands known as Dead Man's Gorge. Terrible place, by the way. Yeah, I, I get that from the name, shouted Pants. My cousin Marcus almost fell off a cliff while hiking there. Luckily, he's a Hawkins. It takes more than a simple deadly chasm to finish us off. Let's hit Burka where it hurts the most, disarm his army, and deplete his forces. Okay, so we've really whittled down his army. That's good news. Um, ah, somebody got injured in sorting out the rock fall. Okay, Joe you know what? That's sort of to be expected. We got some money for it, but yes, our comms operative is now a little bit worse for wear. Right, okay, that's fine. So that, I mean, it's not fine for them because they're obviously in a bit of pain, but it's okay. We can muddle through with that. So helicopter lands, out our people come. There's something in the area. Is it a tedious drone? Where are you, tedious drone? Is it a tedious drone? Probably over here somewhere. There's the tedious drone. Blow the tedious drone out the sky. Oh, one day we'll get them. One day we'll get your tedious drones. Um, okay, so can we now do this one? Can we complete that? Have we got the desert soldiers back on? Yes, we have. So we have a desert soldier. We can get a hacker. We'll choose you for a bit of uh, military experience. And then an aviator. We've got you. And then a tank driver. We've got you. Forces comparison 581 versus 306. Let's read what we've got to do, shall we? That might make sense. We're in Lowlands. Burka's last stronghold. We had him running with his tail between his legs, but he's going strong here. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. Our satellite photos confirm they are putting together a counterattack in the mountain town of Hightown. We cannot allow them to succeed, otherwise all our efforts will have been in vain. We'll neutralise the threat. Planes, tanks, hackers, a coordinated attack is the key. Indeed, so we're going to send in some tanks, then we're going to send in some planes, we're going to hack their systems... And then, of course, we have our desert soldier to kind of lead the way through the desert and figure all that out. Do you know what? 
it's going to be fine. Start that mission. We will get that done in absolutely no time at all. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. And then I think, yeah, by the time this day ends, we should then be able to go and do the soup kitchen mission and get that sorted as well. That would be quite good. The mess hall's got no supplies. <laughs> can we please give the food to the mess hall so they can cook some delicious stuff? Oh, I completely forgot the tattoo new cooks haven't got any housing. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on, we do need to get some more housing in anyway at some point. So hang on a second. Sorry, you two. Oh, they're going to be exhausted. Hang on. So one house, two house. Sorry, you two. Yeah, no, that that's that's entirely my fault. Um, hang on, over there. So yeah, you've got no house. Um, however, I think you now do have houses. I think it's assigned you to a house. Um, no, you can have a house. Who? Hang on, where are the cooks? You, where's the other cook that we've got? You're the one we're on. Is it you? I know you haven't got a house, but you're not so bothered at the minute. But you will be bothered soon. So there you go, you can have a house as well. Okay, right, there you go. Run time on nice and quick. Let's see how this mission is going to go. We hit them where it hurts the most and took down their Wi-Fi. Oh my goodness me, we've started strong. Our hacker reconfigured all their routers, sowing chaos among their ranks. Okay, communication number two. The terrain is difficult, but thanks to the instructions of a kind shepherd and his sheep, we have managed to reach the best position with our tank. The sheep helped out with that, did they? Okay. Communication three. The only way to access the town is over a wooden bridge. Anyone attempting to cross it has to first solve a riddle from a, mystic, a myth, mystical wise man who guards it. <laughs> is he called Tim by any chance? Fortunately, we have some smart people and it was a piece of cake. Okay, good. Some call him... Tim. Okay, good. So Tim the Sorcerer has been in it. That's quite exciting. And how did it go? It succeeded. We managed to thwart Berker's troops' plans to counterattack. We are getting very close to him. Okay, that's wonderful. We get some more money, which is really welcome. Oh, that feels better. Having about 20 grand feels very good indeed. That's wonderful. Is it worth... Okay, it's come down a bit because we bought some ammo. Is it worth upgrading the two wind turbines? Just to provide a bit more... Hang, hang on. Upgrade the battery. 756 monies to upgrade that. Then it can hold more stuff. Okay. That's a bit better. Um, okay. Powers are... Okay, it's power at night time that's the issue, isn't it? Power at night is the problem. Um, what research do you need to max out the battery? 6,000. So really, we need about 12,000 research points to get our energy set up as good as it could be in terms of research stuff. Okay, that's fine. We can save up for that. I think that'll be okay. And now we just need to run time on, I think, until probably the end of the day, I would have thought. By that point, we'll get some more money, which is quite welcome. That's going to be a huge amount of cash. And, okay, a bit more comes out. Um, and then also those people should then be experienced enough for us to send them away over to join the soup kitchen in whatever that place was. Polverone, that's it. Over there in Polverone. Okay, I think the night shift has begun. I'm fairly certain this is night shift time. Let's have a quick look, shall we? So these two cooks here, so Michaela and Kira, are you both out doing your jobs? Yeah, there we go. So the night shift has begun. So hopefully in not too long, maybe just as the day rolls over, they might have just about the right performance levels for us to send them away. That should be okay. Is there anybody over here in the recruitment center who we do need to recruit? Have we got any good people? Okay, so we've got two people that are good at maintenance working. I mean, that would be quite good. That would be quite good, but I don't think we have a maintenance building, so no, we haven't got any room for you just yet. Um, defensive knowledge. Now, that's interesting. Because I wouldn't mind getting another security sort of uh, tower thing set up, maybe around here, or possibly over here, because that building has been targeted a few times, hasn't it? The entertainment building has been blown up a few times, so having you two on board might be quite useful. That might be quite handy. Then we can have a day shift person and a night shift person in a tower over here somewhere, making sure that no baddies cause trouble over there. The bad guys, they also do come over here though, don't they? The enemy spies do come over here. So we could do with a tower over here as well. So that's another four security people. And then also they have been known to come over here. So we could do with another security setup thing over here, possibly in that gap there maybe, just to keep an eye on things. I mean, that's a lot of people doing sort of security of our own base. And we haven't got the money to you know, get the towers in and everything else. We probably could afford one, I would say. Do you know what? 
it might be worth getting you to him. What about everybody else? Uh, someone who's heroic, but a slow recoverer. Then we've got medical knowledge. Then we've got medical knowledge. Okay, so more, I didn't mean to zoom out, go back in. Some more medical knowledge people. That might not be so bad. Could we then, hang on, what was the new thing we unlocked? What was the new medical building? Because at some point we're going to have to do one of these anyway. Was it psychological therapy? I think it was that one. Well, yeah, it's that tier one. And we've got that one. And we've got that one. So it's whatever that is. So psychological therapy treats psychological trauma. So if these soldiers do see something unpleasant out there on the battlefield, they go there. Okay, so do we put one of those over here possibly? And then get two people in there already? And just get that sorted, because at some point, Sergeant Shouty Pants is going to pop up and say, hey, you need to build one of these, get it sorted, please. So if we've got one, that's going to be fine. Maybe we get one of those in. Um, that would be good. The only thing is, yeah, we need some more housing as well. We need some more housing for people to go and live in. Oh, crikey. Okay, right. Another row of houses along here might be quite good then. Like we've got there, a little kind of block of houses. Okay, fine. Here goes some more of our money. So one and two houses. That could be quite good. But then, of course, hang on. Then if we need these security people as well to go in a tower over there somewhere, they're going to also need places to live. Oh, crikeys. Okay, okay. Do we get... That doesn't leave us with that much money, though. And then can we even... Hang on. If we build two more houses, can we even afford to build the medical building in the first place? 3,000 money. So that could... That could go there leave a route through the middle so people can get round the back if we need them to. I don't think we will, but you'll leave a path just in case. So we could put that there. That'll bring us down to about, what, 6,000 monies-ish. And then we are going to get paid 13 grand, which is quite nice. Plus, we're going to get eight grand from sending those cooks away. So I think, do you know what? We're going to get it done. We're going to put that in. We're going to get a little bit of a thing there and a bit of a road there. There we go, right, and then go and hire those two medics to go and work in whatever that building is that we just built. What was it again? The psychological recovery building? Because, yeah, they're both good as doctors. So, okay, Zoran Berg, you can become a doctor in, yeah, psychological therapy on the night shift. Wonderful. And hang on a second, pause time. You can be a doctor in psychological therapy on the day shift. There we go. And you've got a house to go and live in. Right, so that sorted that out. So when we do need that building, when the time comes, it's ready and it's you know there and ready to go. Wonderful. Okay, move time on nice and quick then. So now it's all ours, oh, a drone. What a surprise. Oh, and it's blowing up a building with all of our people in it. Wonderful. Are there going to be lots of casualties over here? Ah, dear me, right. Okay. Everybody is injured. Okay. <laughs> Right. We can only cope with so many... Oh, dear. Right, that was... That was quite bad. Oh, and the heliport's been blown up as well. Well, this is just marvellous. Okay, somebody go and whack that with a hammer, please. Um, yeah. That's that's not great, is it? That's not great. Again, I'm not a big fan of the, um, the constant sort of uh, drone attacks and such. I do find them a little bit over the top. A little bit sort of fiddly, but never mind. Right, somebody's mending the power thing which exploded. Um, that one's exploded. Yeah, we need to get some more power things in. We need to get some of those in as well. That would be helpful. Um, okay, so we've got a lot of injured people who can't be treated. It's incredibly busy over here, look. <laughs> so many people, so many people doing various things, walking on treadmills, standing on whatever they are, what are they, like wobbly plate things, trying to balance on those kind of gimbal things that I simply can't balance on and just fall off all the time. If you lot could recover nice and quick, and then the next lot can come in, that would be amazing. <laughs> Dear. Oh, we could upgrade the building. Hang on. Oh, no, we can't upgrade the building because now we have no money. Oh, I wonder if we just had to get in a massive load of medical supplies. Yes, of course, because we would have taken some. Yeah, there you go. There. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh dearie me okay can you two really become really good at doing cooking because we could do with sending you away really quickly um 40 and 38 they're not quite at average performance 45 just yet they will get there at some point maybe possibly it would have been good had they got there before the end of the day because then we could have sent them away and we won't have to pay them their wage but now we're gonna have to pay them their wage but look 
We've got 8,000 money. Oh, it's brilliant. Okay, never mind. Right, can you, like, just heal up, please? There's a lot of other people waiting for you to uh, get out of here. Um, it's only 877 to upgrade. Do you know what? Let's get a better physiotherapy clinic. We might be able to fit more people in, or they'll recover quicker, which will help out a great deal. Okay, there we go. So medical supplies going into there. That, of course, I imagine also had to be stocked with medical supplies. So that's going to be... That was why we had to get loads more of those in. Um, hang on a minute. We can upgrade the, um, the solar panels. That's going to be quite good. Right. Have we finished with everybody over there? Still no. Still no. Can we please just... <laughs> Heal everybody up. That was a disaster. The, oh, look, it's come back again. Oh, it's blowing up a barracks now. And we still have entirely no defence against this. Oh, right, there you go. Yeah, boom, right, blew it up. Repair that. Do you know what? I could entirely do without those drones. They, they're, it's, it's, just a, it's just a nuisance that just doesn't need to be in the game, I don't think. Maybe not as frequent as they are. Maybe not as frequent as they are. Because if you haven't got a turret thing nearby, that you can't do anything. You're literally completely powerless. Okay, never mind. There we go. There we go. It's all done now. It's all fine. We could do with upgrading the um, the drone batteries at some point. But um, yeah, again, it comes down to a matter of cash that we don't have. So, I mean, look. Already we're over here and it's... Somebody blew up chemist specialization. Yeah, okay, we'll just go and put that back. Yeah, just repair that. Oh, that sniper. That looks a bit worse for her anyway. Uh, repair that one, please. Um, yeah, again, just people, just attacks. There's constant attacks. It's a bit tedious. But okay, never mind. Look at this, though. They're all over it. Oh, is there another drone? Oh, good. At least we shot that one a bit. That's quite good. Right, hopefully the sun can come out in a second. Then the solar panels can spring into life and sort the power issues out. Come on, sunshine. Just generate a bit more power. There we go. Right, so we're not going to overload because it's daytime. That is good. How are we doing with everybody being injured? Um, there are less people here now. Oh, it looks like quite a nice building now. That looks quite fancy. Look at that. There's a little kind of outside sort of nice path you can walk along. You can sit outside and look at the, the infirmary building, which isn't quite as nice a building as that one anymore. But there we go. Maybe you wouldn't want to do that. But OK. Right. So there's a lot of issues going on. I imagine that's mostly people being injured. However, can we send you two away? Can you two go away now, please? Because then there you go. Oh, average. <laughs> we need one point of average performance. Can you become one point better at cooking, please? That would be amazing. Why are those people looking confused about where they live? The thing appeared over their heads then implying they didn't know where they were going. As in, in terms of where they were living. Building out a sort of okay, muscle injuries. That's going to be the bulk of people, isn't it? That's going to be a lot of people. Oh, enemy inside the perimeter. Do you know what? They'll sort it out. It's just boring. Right. Okay. So, I think now those two should be okay. So, they are still on 44. <laughs> Become marginally better at cooking really quickly, please. We need some money. Oh, for goodness sake, the chemist building has been blown up again. Oh, crikey. Okay, fine. We'll go and fix it up again. Oh, and some, what was that? Foods come in, which means we now have no money again. Wonderful. Um, okay, hang on. Repair that. Oh, hang on. Look at that over there. I don't think we've watched this before, but we've got one of the, um, the desert soldiers Sort of zooming about a place in their little kind of desert buggy. No, come back to the desert buggy. Okay, you're stuck in some quicksand, which looks horrifying. That looks really terrifying. Um, you're now going to blow up some stuff over here with rockets. That's fine. I want you to get back in the little car, please. Yeah, you can shoot a rocket. Great. Anyone can do that. Just do that and point. Can you drive a little car around, though? That's the question. Wee! <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, there's a jump. He gets some air. Look at that. And whoop, gets some air. Oh, nice. That's fun. I like that. I like that. Let's hope that she's a good shot, because if she just misses a bit and he's there, he's going to get blown up. But there we go. Uh, right. Many, many problems. No supplies going on. No maintenance people, because I imagine they're all injured. Uh, okay. Okay. Hang on. Why are you not getting treated? Why are you not going, going over there? Hang on. Why are you not being treated? Go into the physiotherapy. Oh, so because it was full, when there is space, they're now not auto-assigning themselves. Oh, that's a little bit of a nuisance, isn't it? I could have do with knowing that earlier. I thought they would auto-assign themselves once there was a vacancy, but no, they have failed to do that. 
Oh dear, right, the lab is out of service. Hey, that's blown up as well, whatever. Yeah, just fix that. Somebody whack it with a hammer, please. Um, okay, maintenance building. And the maintenance people have got to restock something. Right, okay, how is everything looking? And I don't think they're going to be able to um, go and do their sort of uh, become better at cooking because I think their shift is done. I'm fairly certain their shift is done and they've gone home. So 43 and 45, you needed one more point, I think it was possibly each, and it would have been fine. But no, no, of course not. That would have been too much to ask. And now we've got another entire day of just sort of sitting about watching us not have any money and watching drones come along to blow everything up and watching spies also blowing everything up. Wonderful. Okay, the night shift has begun. Have our two cooks over here got the required skills? Yes, they have. I'm fairly certain they're now good enough to go and work in the soup kitchen over here. There we go. Average performance is now enough. That's wonderful. Right, transfer you two. We really do need that money, please, because I think we might have possibly... We've, oh, we've run out of ammunition. Oh, that's quite bad. We need ammunition to put into the things that shoot the drones down, which are constantly attacking us. That's a bit of a nuisance. Okay, the comms thing has gone. Right, there we go. They're nice and quick. So 8,400 money comes our way. Now, the good thing about this, enemy at the gates, the good thing about this is that it's taken so long to get that previous mission sorted with the cooks that everybody else should have been able to have a nice rest. So we can probably go and get this done right now, I imagine. I imagine, yeah, this is going to be nice and simple. What have we got? Oh, I can't see what percentage sort of strength he's on. 7%. Okay, that's it. Enemy at the gaze. It's the moment we've been waiting for. After much work, we finally have Berker on the ropes. He's locked himself up in his giant wall and he's armed to the teeth. A cornered animal is always more dangerous, so don't underestimate him. His base is located at the outpost on the wall where the aqueduct connection to the east is also located. Let's follow Charlie's plan. We send in a team of explosives experts and some support forces. He will join us all in the confusion. Good luck. He will join us all in the confusion. Oh, okay. Right. He's, we're going to try and confuse everybody. Right. Here we go. Six people required, but we've got everything we need. So explosives engineer, explosives engineer, hacker. Got a choice of two. Let's send the really good one this time to make sure. Chemist, send the more experienced one. Desert soldier, two of those. Forces comparison. 885 for us, 549 for him. So looking pretty good. Let's get this done now. Start that mission, please. All the heliports are in use. Oh, bother. Okay, well, hang on. Let the helicopter come back for a bit. Go and land helicopter. Oh, everything's kind of exploded a bit. Things are not looking good in the base right now. Power overload. Buildings have exploded. Hang on, hang on. Um, oh, crikey. Repair that, please. Oh, there's a drone. Oh, there you go. Who'd have thought it? Right, so the power can get sorted out again. Somebody's whacking that with a hammer. So that's now being fixed, which is good. That's now exploded a bit. That's a bit of a nuisance. So the power is still broken. Okay, repair that, please. And repair... Did that not just blow up? Oh, okay. I thought that had just blown up and they repaired it and it's blown up again. No fuel in that one there. Not much in the way of medical supplies. Not much food. We are going to get a big pile of money soon when the day rolls around. But yeah, if we could now do this, look. If we could do that to get an extra two grand, that's not to be sniffed at when you haven't got any money at all. Right, can we start that mission now? Yes, we can. Okay, so fly them over there. Pop back to the base. Let's make sure that's all looking good. Right, literally everything is exploding over here. <laughs> oh dear, it's all fine. Oh dear, right, okay. Soon the power's going to go out. Right. What's happening at the mission? Because that might be working. Oh, look, we've got some money. Uh, oh, look, the money's immediately going back out. Our troops were acting in perfect concert, like they were of one mind. The raid is proceeding steadily. Communication 2. We found a maintenance passage in the aqueduct. After rigging a small detonation, our troops advanced on the ground and through the canal, catching the enemy by surprise. Okay, here we go. Big important decision to make. Our explosives engineers are having a lot of trouble getting to the base of the Great Wall. If they don't detonate the wall in time, Charlie won't be able to get into action, help us defeat Berker. We have to send someone to help them reach their objective. We need Charlie. We'll take a detour and lend a hand, but it'll be risky. There's no time. Get on with the mission. We can't be sidetracked. It says there, we need Charlie. It says there particularly, we have to get Charlie on board and it's his plan. So we need Charlie. We'll take a detour and lend a hand, but it will be risky. I think we have to take the risk and go for that. Right, okay. We've got... Oh, hang on, what's the overload looking like? 
The overload is now being managed. I think the battery is possibly kicking in. The battery might be helping possibly, but the two wind turbines are spinning and those power things are also okay. Right, it's looking good. Communication three, re re uh, we've reached the base of the wall. Our troops planted the explosives with such precision they made it look like child's play. Everything is under control, apart from the big explosion that's going to happen. Okay, here we go. Run time on, let's see what's going to happen. Complete the big mission. And then are we gonna have another one? Will we face off against him? Okay, how did it go? It worked. At last, our people no longer have to live under Berker's yoke. We have regained control of the desert. Is that it? Have we done it? Um, it's unfortunate we lost two of our people. Ah, okay, hang on. Lost as in you, you, they've been captured. Lost as in they've died. In spite of that, we achieved an important victory. Okay, go to next. Oh no! That's that's one person game. That's one person. We lost one of our explosives experts. They got caught up in the blast. Oh no. That's that's terrible. We've lost our first person. It's improperly lost. Somebody else got kidnapped, I think, didn't they? But we've actually lost a person properly. I don't know. I can't even find out who it is. Try and sort of mouse over it. It's not telling us. Okay, so we got about 10 grand out of it, which is going to be quite welcome. That's not going to go very far anymore. But there we go. It is done. And are we going to get a pop-up thing? Here we go. Burkid me. It can't be. I don't understand. Oh, he looks so sad. Do you know what I noticed, by the way, when I was editing the previous video where he popped up? His eye patch has a kind of a great big kind of sinister eyebrow on it. Look, <laughs> it's not his own eyebrow. The eye patch has got an eyebrow all of its own, which I quite like. I don't understand. Dot, dot, dot. Burka, you are under arrest. Surrender. There's nothing you can do. You tell him, shouty pants. Why didn't he answer when I needed him most? Huh? Wait, what are you saying? Leave him be, John. He's unresponsive. He was already in this condition when we got here. The poor wretch was hoping Dragan would help him, but he betrayed him in the end. Of course he did. Dragan's a big, horrible, big bad guy. Dragan dropped him and all of his people. That Dragan. He doesn't even have one shred of honour, that coward. Officer, arrest that man immediately. No problem, Sergeant. I got what I deserve. I've done horrible things. So I assume he's relinquished the mind control on Burke Demir there. That he did have on, what's her name before, Jantine. Okay. Oh, this is a bit sad though in a way. Because you know, they're all sort of cackling evil bad guys originally when you meet them. But they're being, they're being controlled to be like that. I believed in Dragan blindly. And when I needed him most, look how he treats me. He left me to rot. Like withered cabbage, cabbage in the desert. And I radioed him for help and he chose to ignore me. We told you, Burka, Dragan is not someone you can trust. He fooled everybody. He's only interested in what's good for him. And I didn't listen. How wrong I was. A few years ago, I was a drifter. I felt like it didn't fit in anywhere and nobody understood me. Wherever I looked, I was surrounded by injustice. Nobody cared about the suffering of other people and the hardships they were going through. Then I met Dragan. And everything made sense. He taught me that if you're strong enough, you can change things. I followed him blindly. I thought we were changing the world. And in the end, I ended up becoming the thing I hated the most. Many people suffer because of me. Dragan is a fraud. And so am I. Oh, let's give him a hug. The ends never justify the means, Burka. But this isn't the time for regrets. We have to fix all of the damage done now. We are not like that unwashed baboon, Dragan. An unwashed baboon. Good insult, shouty pants. We are giving you a second chance, Burka. Help the people who suffer because of you. Get the water flowing again and provide shelter to the refugees. You have the resources to do it. I... I don't know what to say, Sergeant. I wasn't expecting to be treated like this. I already told you. We are not like Dragan. There's a lot to do, so get to work. Wait, there is something you should know. There was a reason Dragan needed water to flow through the southwestern lands. The reason we engineered the aqueduct. He needs that water for his chronodium mines. Ooh, a thing. Chronodium? What are you talking about? Chronodium is a mineral with a red colour. It is very rare, very hard to find. Is it all over your clothing? Is your eye patch made of it? I'm not sure why, but Dragan will do anything to get it. He never told us his reasons. I think it's extremely valuable. He needs vast quantities of water for his mining operation, and the aquifers in that area are not enough. How strange, says the amazing Charlie Creek. As far as I'm aware, chronodium has no known use. It's not even considered a precious mineral. It's too fragile. Hmm, says Shouty Pants. Everything about this smells fishy. I'll ask Julie to investigate. At any rate, thank you for the information, Burka. It may be crucial. 
I'm deeply sorry about what I've done, Sergeant. I will do everything I can to restore balance in this desert and help the people here. I hope so, Burka, because we will be watching you. Now, let's get back to camp, people. There's a lot to do. Okay, so we head back to camp. Oh, hello there. I love it when a plan comes together, but we can't rest on our laurels. There's still much to be done. We have to reinforce our positions and find Diana Bird Whistle. <laughs> More amazing names. Have you located Diana? That's great news. We did. We've been working hard. We think she might be in Mountain Chain. Okay, Mountain Chain, Mountain Snowy. There's a snowy bit over there. Our source informed us that she is under Helga Lund's custody. The only General Dragan has left. That are left. There is Helga Lund right there with the amazing hat on. I see. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you that this complicates things. Helga is Dragan's right hand. Getting Diana out of there is going to be mission impossible. Oh, Charlie Creek, come on, where's your optimism? Nothing is impossible for us, you tell him, shouty fans. We've come this far. We can rescue Diana. And now we have the hero of the resistance with us. Nothing can go wrong apart from the drones and the lack of money and everything else that could go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. Well, I wouldn't say hero. I'm just one guy, Sergeant. Besides, the truth is, I'm pretty out of shape. What? Haven't you been following my training routine? I'm going to get you training like there's no tomorrow. I want you to start doing push-ups until you can't feel your arms. Get to work! Ah, oh, shouty pants is back. That's the way to do it, Sergeant. Just like old times. Ha ha ha! Ah, hilarious. Okay, so we've unlocked Charlie Creek. John's best student, despite his rebelliousness. He may not respect the chain of command, but he's the first person you want by your side if things go wrong. Like now. His unwavering loyalty and sharp wit have led him to lead the Sand Troopers. Okay, so we could drop Shouty Pants and put him in as our kind of base commander, if you like. We might go and have a look at that, but hang on. Pop back to the base a second. How are we looking? So 22 grand. Power is holding by the look of it. Um, nothing is horrendously wrong. All our buildings are seemingly intact. Hang on, let's just let that helicopter come back. Right, everybody come back. We have got some bad news. We've lost a person. Somebody didn't make it back. Six went out. Only five have returned, everybody. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. Can we uh, can we mourn the loss of whoever they were, the explosives engineer that is no longer going to come back? Because that is quite sad. That's a very sad thing. So there we go. We've lost our first person, but we have completed the desert part, which is quite exciting. And next up, we have the torturous path of the artist. Okay, so hang on. Where's that taking us next? So we're going down. Okay, we're going to clear this corner out, I imagine. I imagine what's going to happen is we're going to clear out these. So what's that? Six red areas. Three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to clear those out and then head toward her, possibly. And then we're going to head toward Dragan himself in the kind of snowy bits over here. But yeah, she is at another military camp, look. She's over there at another military camp. But OK, OK, right. I think we wrap things up for the moment. Things are sort of looking OK. All of our buildings are intact. And we have got a little bit of money, which is quite nice. And every day we're going to get about 15 grand, which is quite welcome indeed. So we could do with maybe just upgrading the defences a little bit. Uh, I kind of, you know, we missed the chance to, I think, get one of the defensive towers in to spot the spies, which is a bit unfortunate. I think the people will have long gone out the recruitment centre, but some more will come in that are good at security stuff, I am sure. So we'll try and get that sorted next time. And it would be good to get some upgrades done to the power infrastructure, get the upgrades done to the drone batteries, upgrade the security hubs, all that kind of stuff. And then, yes, we begin in a sort of a brand new area on the east of this island, this sort of land now over here. And we'll see what happens in this part of the world. But there we go. Plenty to do next time when we come back. But we have at least completed the deserty bit of this game, which is very good indeed. So there we go. I think we'll leave it for now and we'll come back and see what happens. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in one military camp. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Yay! Okay, exciting things are happening. Where does gigantic big stabby knife live? They're D&D nerding. They've got a dice tower and they've got character sheets and they've got some dice. Oh, this is wonderful. Living my best life. Oh my goodness me. So much undergarmentage. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Praise be the kettle has been uncovered.